All right, everybody, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanna to talk to you guys about propagating fig trees. And probably the easiest way to propagate a fig tree is actually to rip up a sucker out of the soil. A lot of times when you take a sucker out, and a sucker you could define, by the way, as something that is coming from the soil or below the soil. You could actually make an argument that there are suckers, and people do use different terminology, that a sucker could also be uh, a part of the wood that's above the soil, but for my definition, it's something that's coming from below the soil. That's really key because when figs, you know, uh, when you propagate a fig tree, it's actually really easy, and all you have to do, if you're gonna root them, you're gonna air layer them, you're gonna pull up a sucker, like we've done just now, is you just need to have soil around the branch for an extended period of time. Inevitably and eventually, you will form roots. It will happen for you. So in my opinion, if you had an in-ground tree, but even though this is a potted tree, it's real easy. Um, you probably have a, maybe a number of years, and if you really wanted to just, you know, let's say you had your grandfather's fig tree somewhere, and you always wanted to get it, go to that tree, and it's pretty easy just to most likely you'll find a sucker coming from below the soil. Dig that up. Even in certain circumstances, you can just rip it up out of the ground. I've done that just now in this container potted fig tree here. And actually I made myself a cut because this was essentially like this. I'll, I'll zoom in for you guys in a minute. But I actually cut it from the trunk uh, because what had happened was the branch had naturally in its natural growing process, had actually rooted itself uh, just by having direct contact with the soil. I mean, it's that easy. Um, and over the many years that this tree has been growing in this pot, it actually formed itself some roots. And all I had to do was disconnect it from the trunk and actually just take as much roots as I could with this, uh, with this branch here. And now I have myself another tree arguably not the healthiest, not the, uh, probably the, the strongest tree is really the word I wanted to use. But you know, that's an option. That's something you can do. Here's actually another one right here that I did. And uh, you know, not the best work, but I honestly just pulled these up with my hand. I mean, that's, you can't argue, you know, for those results with uh, really not doing this very carefully. If you really wanted to get as many roots as possible, and I would argue that's what you really should be doing. If you wanna have a strong tree quickly and you wanna have a good success rate with this, try to get as many roots as you can. Ideally, this is done during the dormancy process, so either in the fall. I actually did a lot of trees that we have over here. I did the same exact thing with a lot of my trees, a lot of my in-ground trees in the fall, and I actually just ripped them up out of the ground put them in these pots, and now I have extra copies of them. Um, so that's what we're actually gonna do today, is we're gonna put these trees here, these two that I've rooted, and we're gonna stick them in smaller pots. And they're gonna basically root themselves out in these tree pots, they're called. And uh, they're gonna probably sit in that pot for a whole year. Fast forward to next year, I'll be able to take one of these pots, you know, that sucker I dug up, and I can plant that right in the ground. Now, sometimes if you get enough roots, you can just stick this right in the ground, but this here is not really the, uh, the best example of said healthy, strong tree. So, you know, uh, if you can get something good, go for it. And my best piece of advice really is to take your time with it. Be like a uh, paleontologist and pretend that these fig trees, the roots are like dinosaur bones and try to get all the roots out of there. Uh, <clears throat> try to get as many of those, maybe use a shovel, uh, a hori hori, um, something that's gonna help you get and pry as many roots as possible so that you can have not just something like this, but something really strong. By the way, just to zoom in real quick, is I made my cut right here attached to the trunk and actually it was connected right in here and it was sitting right in this little slot and I just ripped this right out of the soil. So that's just one little option there. Um, instead of just having to root yourself some cuttings, which might take months, 
instead of having to air layer a branch for yourself, which also may take a couple months. Um, I would say this is probably your easiest method of propagation, as I mentioned before. Not only is it the easiest, but um, I would argue it's uh, probably your highest chances of success. You, this is like the easiest, most surefire way you can do it. I'm just gonna stick this in here all the way down at the bottom of this tree pot. The more nodes and things I, f I have underneath the soil here, buried in the soil, the more roots I could form, the faster my tree could potentially turn into something uh, strong and healthy. And then that's it, we'll give it some food. This guy probably isn't gonna grow very strongly for me this year, but you know, it's really all dependent on what's on the bottom versus what's on top. We got more on the bottom, we're gonna have more things on top. This actually right here is a Brava. Gotta remove this. So we're gonna take off the Bravas. Any figs that form, probably not a good idea trying to get our tree established. And then this will be future rootstock for me. I'm gonna let it sit in this pot, root out, feed it well this year, water it well this year. The following season, this will be grafted onto, um, again, once again, as rootstock. So there you go. That's uh, that little lesson there of just digging up a sucker, putting it into a pot. Oh, you know what? I forgot about this. Another thing you can do is you get yourself a potted tree or even um, an in-ground tree. You could use yourself a saw. And I was actually sawing out a portion as I was doing uh, my root pruning. I was sawing out a portion of the root ball. And what comes with that root ball, that root pruning I was doing, is actually another tree. So I was able to separate from a different tree over here. I was able to separate the root ball into two pieces. And this is the other piece that we put now into a smaller five gallon size pot. And uh, this will also be rootstock, but it has a lot of roots with it. So this tree is actually has a lot higher of an expectation uh, to actually fruit this year and maybe even perform well. The difference is between this tree here that we just had and this guy is kind of how the method of how I got it, right? This one I just ripped up out of the soil. This one right here, we, um, we actually did some root pruning, which I think actually is legitimately basically the same exact thing. I mean, it's maybe a different terminology for it, but it's, it's essentially the same thing. So we'll, uh, we'll see you guys soon. If you enjoyed this one, hit that subscribe button for me. More fig videos to come. Check out our other videos. We'll see you soon. Take care.